The Emmy goes to The Crown. The Crown. The Crown. The Crown. The Crown swept the 73rd Primetime Emmy Awards on September 19th, winning every drama category. From Olivia Coleman's portrayal of Queen Elizabeth, and what a lovely end to the most extraordinary journey with this lovely family, to Josh O'Connor as Prince Charles and Gillian Anderson as Margaret Thatcher. Creator Peter Morgan won for Best Writing and Jessica Hobbs for Best Directing, a category often ruled by men. Not a lot of women have won this award, so I feel like I'm standing on the shoulders of some really extraordinary people. I'm very grateful for the path that they led. Hobbs wasn't the only one to note the male-dominated tendencies at award shows. Presenter Jennifer Coolidge also pointed to the idea. You have overcome the incredible handicap in this business of being men. Yeah. Yes. Bravo, gentlemen, wherever you are. Kate Winslet saluted women in her acceptance speech for lead actress in a limited series for her role in Mayor of Easttown. I just want to acknowledge my fellow nominees in this decade that has to be about women having each other's backs. I support you. I salute you. I'm proud of all of you. Another big win in the limited series categories went to Michaela Cole, who was honored for her writing on the HBO show, I May Destroy You. Write the tale that scares you, that makes you feel uncertain, that isn't comfortable. I dare you. In the comedy categories, Ted Lasso saw wins for Best Supporting Actor and Actress. <laughs> Jason Sudeikis clinched his first Emmy for Best Actor for his leading role. Ted Lasso also won Best Comedy Series. Hacks scooped awards for outstanding writing and directing in a comedy series, with Jean Smart winning Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series for the show. Hacks has been such a thrill. And she wasn't the only comedian in the spotlight. During his win for Outstanding Variety Special, Stephen Colbert was joined on stage by Conan O'Brien for reasons that remain unclear. Wow. I haven't met some of these people before. Earlier in the show, O'Brien heckled and cheered chairman and CEO of the Television Academy, Frank Sherma, as he attempted to announce the governor's award. Thank you, Conan. This year, Debbie Allen was honored for her long, multifaceted career. Let this moment resonate with women across the world, across this country and across the world, from Texas to Afghanistan. Let them know. As, and also with young people who have no vote, who can't even get a vaccine, they're inheriting the world that we live, that we leave them. It is time for you to claim your power. The awards were hosted by Cedric the Entertainer, who reminded audiences both in person and at home that we're still in the middle of a pandemic. Now I got Pfizer, you know what I'm saying, because I'm bougie, all right? <laughs> Pfizer, that's the Neiman Marcus of vaccines, you know what I mean? And then Moderna, that's Macy's, and then, uh, Johnson & Johnson, that's, that's TJ Maxx, of course, you 